Imagine a room filled with the most brilliant scientific minds in history, people who redefined how we understand the universe. That's precisely what happened at the 5th Solvay Conference in 1927, a gathering so monumental it's often called the greatest meeting of minds ever. But why does this conference among so many scientific meetings stand out? Let's dive into the intrigue, drama, and breakthroughs that made it a defining moment in human history. The year is 1927. The horrors of World War I are fading, jazz is in full swing, and the world is racing into the modern age. In science, classical physics, the bedrock of centuries of understanding, is being challenged by a new and bewildering theory, quantum mechanics. Enter the Solvay Conference, a prestigious event held in Brussels and funded by Belgian industrialist Ernest Solvay. This wasn't your average academic gathering. It was an exclusive club where only the creme de la creme of the scientific community were invited. And the fifth iteration was particularly special, bringing together the pioneers of quantum mechanics and the stalwarts of classical physics for a historic showdown. If you've ever seen the famous black-and-white group photo from the 5th Solvay Conference, you know it's not just a picture, it's a time capsule of genius. The attendees included 29 of the greatest minds of the 20th century, 17 of whom would go on to win Nobel Prizes. There's Albert Einstein, whose name alone evokes the pinnacle of genius. Next to him sits Niels Bohr, the father of quantum theory. Surrounding them are luminaries like Marie Curie, Max Planck, Werner Heisenberg, and Erwin Schrödinger. And let's not forget Curie's remarkable presence as the only woman in the room, a testament to her extraordinary accomplishments in a male-dominated field. The Fifth Solvay Conference wasn't just a gathering, it was a battleground of ideas. At its heart was a philosophical and scientific clash. On one side were the champions of classical physics, led by Einstein, who believed the universe operated on deterministic principles. On the other side stood the quantum pioneers, like Bohr and Heisenberg, who argued that at the subatomic level, nature was probabilistic and inherently uncertain. The debates were intense and electrifying. Einstein famously declared, God does not play dice with the universe, rejecting the randomness of quantum mechanics. Bohr, however, countered with sharp logic, insisting, stop telling God what to do. These exchanges weren't just intellectual sparring matches, they were the foundation for the physics that underpins modern technology. The Fifth Solvay Conference wasn't just a moment in history, it was a pivot point for the future. Quantum mechanics emerged from the conference stronger than ever, setting the stage for advancements like semiconductors, lasers, and even the devices you're watching this video on. It's a reminder that progress often comes from the collision of ideas, and that the universe's mysteries are best unraveled through dialogue, disagreement, and discovery. So, what's special about the Fifth Solvay Conference? Everything. It's the story of humanity pushing the boundaries of knowledge, one heated debate at a time. 